Happy Wally Day. Hey guys, it's me, it's me, Flogging Wally, or Vlogging Wally, whatever you want to say. So I'm sure you're wondering, what is Wally Day? And to explain that, I'll first have to explain what Jeff Day is, for reasons that'll become apparent a little bit later. So what Jeff Day is, is it's a day made up by fictional character Jeff Bingham from the show Rules of Engagement. Rules of Engagement is a show... It, Rules of Engagement is a sitcom that me and my wife enjoy watching. And what Jeff Bingham described, uh, which is a character played by Patrick Warburton, plays his character great. It's like the role was made for him. But it, it's, uh, he says, I wake up with my wife, I go to work with people, I come home to my wife. It's a lot of human interaction. So he has a day where he has no contact with anybody from the outside world. He sits at home all day. And watches TV. It sounds kind of nice to have that day to yourself. So I decided I want to take a Wally day, but I don't want to sit inside and uh, watch TV all day. So I went out and I went to a tropical smoothie uh, cafe here. Got a beach bum smoothie. I got a three cheese. And chicken quesadilla from Tropical Smoothie. And now I'm ready to start the day. It's uh, 11 a.m. So I still have plenty of the day left. Um, I have plenty of things planned. I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble and get the Young Bucks book if it's out. Uh, I'm going to uh, go to McKay's, which is like a used uh, book slash movie slash comic book slash kind of everything store. Um, and I like going there and just rummaging through stuff, see what I can find. Uh, I plan on going to World Market and getting some Tim Tams. Never had Tim Tams before. Heard they're pretty good. Think they're Australian. Uh, and also World Market's pretty cool. It's got a lot of different foods and just stuff in general from uh, other parts of the world. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, maybe go to the park, um, you know, and if, if I get a book read a little bit in the park. Uh, I was going to film huh, the next and Eltron video at the park. Uh, turns out, because uh, I, I really want to have the script with me, and uh, so I was going to use it on my tablet, and uh, I plugged in my tablet to the charger last night. The charger wasn't plugged into the electrical outlet last night, so it did, did nothing, and I didn't want to waste any more Wally Day. So, that's Wally Day, um, and... Uh, just a kind of a quick announcement to um, the Ian Eltron channel has been um, been on Hades for a little while and let me explain that so done two episodes and then uh, I was like hey next week is this, this episode and that episode never came the episode titled Regina the reason for that is uh, you know, if you don't know, I did the Ian Eltron series. I did 13 episodes, and um, it just got less and less views. And I was just going to stop doing it. Um, but then I decided instead I was going to do it, and I was going to do it better. And I'm not going to focus on the views. And honestly, I don't know what those two videos have in views right now. I don't care anymore. I'm not focusing on that. But I did want to make it better. So I took basically the first six episodes and condensed it into four because I feel like there's way too much setup in the original series. And I actually added characters into it, not, like, I didn't make new characters up. I had people playing different characters. Two important ones, uh, David and Regina. David, I found pretty easily, the guy playing David. It's uh, Von Macarius, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, he's a YouTuber. Yeah, he's a gaming YouTuber. I'll leave the link below. He's, he's funny. He's good. Um, and... Uh, he, he's he been a huge help. I found him on Reddit. Uh, I went to a collaboration uh, subreddit, and uh, he replied pretty quickly to that um, because he's trying to grow his channel, and that's the best way to do it is collaboration. But it's not just like, yeah, I'll do it. Send me the script. Uh, he has, um, first off, he sends me his parts very quickly, um, so I have plenty of time uh, to get everything in there. I try to send scripts out two weeks in advance. Um, but also he's made all this promotional material 
did not ask him to. Um, he's just an, he's just a really cool dude that's just doing that for fun and just to help me out. So, I, you know, really appreciate everything he's been doing uh, for that channel. So I've, I've created like an Instagram and I already had the, the Facebook page. But uh, yeah, I've, I've created Instagram for it now. Links for that all down below as well. Um, I have a Twitter form, but I don't use it. Um, no, who uses Twitter anymore? I use Twitter for my personal self, but that's it. But basically, um, when I first started, I had a hard time finding person to play Regina. Because the first time I did the series, I did have someone play Regina. And it was me personally asking someone, hey, can you do this? And she agreed to it. And, you know, she, that, that was cool. But I didn't want to have it to where I was forcing somebody to to do something. You know, felt like I was asking them to do something they didn't want to do. I just didn't like that, you know. I felt like I wanted someone to be in it that wanted to be in it. So no one on Reddit uh, responded um, to, to that part. Uh, so uh, Vaughn... Uh, uh, invited me to his Discord. He's like, hey, if you want, you can ask in Discord if anyone wants to do it. Um, he has a Discord for his, for his channel. So I did, and someone agreed to it. And um, she's really cool, but she, uh, she's she got some health problems. And, um, you know, she was having a hard time getting the part filmed and decided to, to step away from that. And I understand that 100%. Um, so I asked on my Facebook again, hey, if anybody wants to do this, wants to being the key thing. I don't want anybody just saying, I guess I'll do it. I want someone that wants to do it. And, um, you know, someone agreed to it. She's like, I think that'd be cool. And I was like, awesome. And I sent her a script. Never got anything. Um, so I was like, okay. Like, I, I'm kind of stuck. And at one point I thought the series is just kind of going to die here. And what I was going to actually do if this didn't work out as I was going to cancel those uh, delete the first two videos re uh, upload or unprivate I should say the the first 13 and go from there and do the, the do it the way I was originally doing it without anybody else just me talking to a camera in the garage um, <laughs> but uh, I decided um, to just ask people um, and not friends <laughs> but people that are kind of in, I guess, entertainment in a way. Um, so as a bunch of YouTubers, I had no business asking because I was like, these people aren't even going to respond to me. Um, you know, kind of ridiculous to ask, but I'm just kind of, the worst they can do is say no or not respond. And uh, someone actually did respond. It was a no, but I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, you know, Sammy Jo, uh, she's been on uh, Sugar Pine 7 few times she's uh Cape's girlfriend if you don't know what sugar pine seven is it doesn't make sense to you or they, are they married they might be married anyway she responded and said hey good luck with everything super busy blah blah, blah. totally get it um but then i thought about there's this person um that i've uh seen uh going down the the youtube rabbit hole as i do uh, who's done like a short film and uh has done a lot of like musical stuff um, and she's very talented, and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just ask her. So I reached out to her. She doesn't have, like, a uh, Facebook fan page or Twitter. I actually reached out to her on Facebook, and I was like, hey, you don't know me. Um, you know, as my channel has 30 subscribers. I wasn't trying to, to make it sound bad, but I didn't want to set this unrealistic expectation, like, hey, this is going to get a bunch of views, and I showed her the other two videos, so she could obviously see what the channel is, what the channel's kind of like, and uh, how many views they get, how many subscribers we have. Um, so I was expecting a, I'm busy, hope, good luck with everything. But the immediate response was, yeah, sounds good. Something I can definitely do. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we have Regina now, but I wasn't getting my hopes up because this has happened before. I've got Regina's that I didn't have them anymore. So, um, but she sent in the part yesterday, um, so it's great. Um, so the, the series will go forth um, as as planned. Uh, I've, I've already decided that if um, for any reason life happens and she's not able to continue, I'm still going to continue the series from where we are, and there will be me, and there most likely will be David. 
um, and I, I'm, I'm gonna see it through. And then after that, I wanna say I'm gonna write the book. I'm not gonna say it, because I've said it a lot, but I want to say I want to write it. So, <laughs> that's pretty close. Anyway, I'm gonna get going with the rest of my day. I don't wanna spend the whole day talking to a uh, camera, or my phone, actually. So, uh, I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. Happy Wally Day to you.